the final morning of work at Go Scout Training Camp. Wrapping up the debarking, you can see the pavilion standing down in the VIP, the initial framing up of the pavilion down there. All these logs harvested and debarked to dry for next year. All this land opened up, selectively cut and cleared. This is how we do it. Extremely productive camp. Look at this, gorgeous, gorgeous. Open right up. Fantastic, all this selective cutting done in the last two weeks. This whole hilltop, a lot of trees harvested. Fantastic. The initial framing of the pavilion in the VIP, making it even more exclusive than ever before. Some of our best amateur craftsmanship on this project. It's gonna be very fun to get all the rafters up and get the roof on and be able to enjoy this for years to come. Look at that. Gorgeous. Logs harvested. Last year, dried out, put up into a pavilion. Bam! Ghost Scouts live forever. All the rafters notched and ready to go. The residents will wrap this up after everyone leaves camp on Wednesday. They will be here for another month and have plenty of time to put this back together or to put it together for the very first time, right up here. Bam, nice little roof on there. Talking about maybe building some kind of pizza oven right off of this big old rock. Bam. Here we have a regular tree. This is apparently a birch tree. And this is cherry tree. Whoa. Movement. A branch. Have we gotten stuck deeper in the situation? Who knows? Dan, watch out! He did it. He did it. I love all of you so much. Great job, y'all. That's a wrap on the work mornings at Ghost Scout Training Camp Year 7. We got a ton of work done. Very, very productive. As documented. Everybody should feel really good about the work we've gotten done this year here. Pretty impressive, huh, Linda? We transform this forest. This time next year, it's gonna be full of ferns growing in. We got all this wonderful material to dry out for building next year. And all these new scouts to return. What are we building next to year? To train the youngins. That's a great question, Joram. I don't have an answer for you right now. <laughs> Yeah.
the morning after graduation, now the scouts have their scout shirts. Max Wilkins, a.k.a. Mouse Barf. And, of course, we've got Chicky Bookie! Lolly Pockets. Michael Joran! <laughs> what else do we got? We've got mm, Crab Williams! <laughs> oh, we got a little Velvet Dojo over there. Mr. Husband! <laughs> Bringing it home, and of course, Human Casserole herself. Looking fantastic. Tired but satisfied. Packing up camp. Dressed in their freshly earned shirts, the newly minted Ghost Scouts celebrate at the Snack Shack. It's never an easy choice to figure out what to order at the Snack Shack. The menu is quite extensive. What are you going to get, Max? I'm going to go with the BLT. Oh. My usual. What are you going to get, Tim? Um, probably the Texas burger. Oh. And some fried zucchini. Steph, what are you thinking? Fried pickle. Ooh. Celia? Strawberry banana milkshake. Oh, powerful. What are you going to get, Allison? A chocolate milkshake. No food? Oh, yeah, mozzarella sticks. Oh, mozzarella sticks, too. What about you, Michael Joran? What are you going to get? I'm going to get a chicken and cheese quesadilla, cookies and cream milkshake. Wow. Stuck between fried mushrooms and mozzarella sticks. Wow. So many choices. What about you, Chicky Bookie? I got a Powerade, a Texas burger, Ooh. and some beautiful fries. Fantastic. Texas burger, no limits. Mr. Husband, what are you going to order? Chicken fingers, fried pickles, Coke, and an ice cream. Woo, loving it. Very powerful. Crab Williams, what did you get? Uh, I got a lemonade, I got the porky pig, and uh, mushrooms, fried Ooh, mushrooms. Oh, porky pig. Yep. Fantastic. Unhealthy. Very unhealthy. Look at this spread. Small spicy fried pickles. Large onion ring. Large fried mushrooms. And another large fried pickle. Ooh, it's too hot. Mm. How is it? <laughs> the one and only Chicky Buki enjoys his well-deserved lunch at the snack shack.